Can you explain why chemotherapy is that is a risk factor in developing blood clots? There are lots of different chemotherapies and lots of different systemic treatments, and the mechanism varies depending. Um, there are certain things which we do know. For example, some chemotherapies are very inflammatory to blood vessels. In fact, you'll, you often use central lines, which are long tubes going into the large vein in the blood vessels, um, to try and avoid the blood being too inflammatory. But we certainly know that um, certain chemotherapies increase inflammation and therefore increase the risk of clots. Some chemotherapies decrease the levels of the body's natural anticoagulants or decrease factors which break down the clot as it's being formed. Also, some chemotherapies will increase the release of procoagulants. That means things that make you more likely to have a clot. There are molecules such as something called tissue factor, which you may see increase during chemotherapy. And then if you add on to that, all the things that happen to us when we're feeling generally rubbish after chemotherapy, so we're not eating much, we're not drinking, so we become dehydrated, we take to our bed rather than going out for walks, all of those things will contribute. Now, the other thing that we have noticed is that sometimes some chemotherapies are more clotty than others, but also some, it will be a cumulative effect. So the longer you're on that chemotherapy, the risk goes up. So it may not be your first cycle of chemotherapy, but perhaps your third cycle that we will see people getting the clots.